Hello you guys, welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you may be in this crazy, crazy world. Now, I kind of just wanted to touch on Brittany before going forward into other things that I've been seeing on my timeline. And I'm like, what the heck is going on in the Johnny Depp supporters fandom, whatever. There's like some divisiveness going on here. And I was really confused yesterday, so I wanted to get a better understanding as to what was actually taking place. But before that, we do have Brittany who is moving on. She's in good spirit. She's doing her thing. She seems very unbothered by all the allegations that are out there, all these things that a certain somebody is trying to say was being done through these various outlets and that's being put out here. That's kind of trying to get in front and make a narrative before other things come out for themselves. Um, so funny how they like to do that. But um, she has made a statement. She's made a statement. And um, honestly, it's none of our business because that is what she has told us. And it's really hard to be a public figure because, yes, I know like when you get a divorce, that's on like public record. But like when you're a public figure, so many people have access to you and they can say and do whatever the hell because you're a public figure and now your life belongs to the public. And um, it is a hard exchange. You get the money, you get the fame, you get the, you know, all this, this, that, and other, all the perks, but then the backside of it is just like, I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. But Brittany has shared her thoughts and her feelings and has told us to mind our effing business. And I love it. So she has said, um, as everyone knows, Hassam and I are no longer together. Six years is a long time to be with someone. Yeah, it is. So I'm a little shocked. I love the way that she writes how she thinks. Like I can like, I can hear her thinking like she's literally what's in her head. She's just writing down and letting it flow. She's not concerned about editing grammar and this and other. No, it's from her stream of thought onto this dang old phone and out. And it's authentic as hell, I feel. Um, so six years is a long time to be, to be with someone. So I'm a little shocked. But I'm here to explain why, because it's honestly no one's business, but I couldn't take the pain anymore, honestly. In some sort of telepathic way, I have been receiving so many messages that melt my heart from friends, and uh, I thank you guys. I've been playing it strong for way too long, and my Instagram may seem perfect, but it's far from reality, and I think we all know that. I think Brittany's very self-aware. She knows the hell everybody be saying about her. She knows the tea. She knows what's up very much so um where was i i've been playing it strong for way too long and my instagram may seem perfect but it's far from reality and i think we all know that i would love to show my emotions and tears on how i really feel but for some reason i've always had to hide my weaknesses if i was if it wasn't if i wasn't my dad's strong soldier i would be sent away to places to get fixed by doctors wow but that's when I needed family the most. You're supposed to be loving. You're supposed to be loved unconditionally, not under conditions, and that's so freaking true. So I will be, and you know, and that goes from family, and I don't know. You know, because the unconditional love, somebody's beating on you in this and they're treating you all type of way. No, no. But like unconditional love, like I know my mom has unconditional love for me and my sister, and vice versa. Um, can you have unconditional love in a partnership, like a romantic relationship or in a platonic relationship, but definitely for family, at least, you know, um, <clears throat> so I'll be as strong as I can and do my best. And I'm actually doing pretty damn good. Anyways, have a good day and don't forget to smile. So that is Brittany's tea to us. Don't forget to smile. I'm doing good. I'm standing strong. I'm a little shocked. I'm a little taken aback because it's six years of my fucking life, but I'm going to be okay. Like, that's what I interpreted that as, and um, good for her. There's a lot of theories going on, you guys. There's a lot, but that has always been, you know, since early 2000s, um, theories of what is and is not going on with Britney, um, and I don't think we're ever really going to know, and like she said, it's none of our business. I definitely hope that um, 
you know, Laura Wasser comes through, whatever this is, that Sam is trying to like get more money and this and another, I think that's completely crazy. Um, and I'm sure it would be fought. Um, but people were trying to say, oh, Brittany was the one cheating and trying to say, make that a thing. Like, who the fuck was believing that? But it was Sam who was cheating before, during, and still never freaking stopped apparently and it's just like <clears throat> so this chick ashley frank comes up and she posts on her ig about this knowledge of what she has with sam who is now pending to be britney spears's ex-husband uh, so she posts a screenshot of this article that says britney's toxic split sam as groggy claims she cheated and beat him demands more cash and says shit happens so she writes like this long text to go on top of that okay she says i find it absolutely absurd i do too he is claiming she cheated knowing damn well he was doing it from day one he set his intentions on being famous when he started dating her he was uh dishonest with her from the beginning and used to laugh about it with clients at the gym his co-workers, other trainers um, at RPT, also lying, cheating pigs, supported his every move. Hmm. If I read a news story that they were divorcing for a legitimate reason, I might not have said anything. You know, like that, you know, but it, and that's true because it's just like, okay, like we kind of expected this, you know, whatever. It's sad, but expected but for that it to be because britney's cheated what the fuck are you talking about uh so she says she might not have said anything um but to read a headline like this knowing all that i know i cannot be silent i feel all the women that trained at rpt or with sam privately should be honest you can be anonymous and still be honest i personally never hooked up with sam I denied any of his attempts and never responded to any of his unsolicited pictures or in person when he asked if I wanted to hook up with him in the showers at the gym. Disgusting. Sorry, Sam, you're not my type. I actually stopped working out there altogether because I was so offended by the constant sexual harassment. I wanted a gym with a community and to feel safe and comfortable. RPT was not that. In fact, the owner still owes me thousands of dollars for unused personal training once I withdrew as a client due to unwanted, unwanted sexual advances from multiple trainers and forcing of HGH meds for results. I think that's human growth hormone. What the fuck? So she just is saying this whole gym is just a fucking mess. Him and his buddy was in, they were in there acting like fools, acting like pigs, doing what they were fucking doing. So he, for him to come out and try to claim that Brittany is cheating is completely false. False, false, false. So um, we're going to be like Brittany, I think. And be unbothered. She's buying horses. She's moving on. Apparently, she has a very strong support system behind her. Um, despite TMZ's claims that Britney Spears is alone and fragile amid her divorce, multiple sources have told Page Six. So I guess the positive news we're going to get from Page Six and then the negative, terrible spin we're going to get from TMZ, which is what they've been doing for years. Um, Multiple sources have told Page Six that she has a strong support system and is doing incredibly well given the circumstances. Other members of her family have reached out to offer support. <laughs> I hope her sister sent her flowers or something, at least. Um, I really do. Like, and like her mom, they got together and sent her like a bouquet or something. Like, it's so touchy with family. It's like a fucking, like, because they did her, I don't even fucking know. I don't even fucking know. Um, she also has the own ongoing help of a therapist, friends said, and has hired divorce lawyers to the stars, Laura Walser. One pal added, Brittany is strong. She's feeling like, whoa, like you would in any breakup when you've been with someone for six years. But she's very clear-headed. She's not holed up all alone or crying or anything like that. 
Um, another person told Page Six, I think Britney gets a bad rap. She's a true artist in the way that she processes things and the way that she creates, but she's doing incredibly well under the circumstances. So we are going to leave it at that with Miss Britney Spears. And I hope that Laura Walter does what needs to be done and we get justice for her and she can just get this because at a certain point like maybe it hasn't even been a year right can you get it annulled or whatever just at this point honestly write a fucking check to the man and just be done because it, you don't want like to be fighting for years and years and years like bethany they were fighting she was fighting with her ex for years in court and they weren't even married but for so long and their freaking divorce lasted longer than the marriage like we don't need this long drawn out situation with Sam and Brittany and the courts wasting even more of her freaking money. Like it's just not necessary. It's truly not. Okay, so I'm even a little nervous to even jump into this, but I'm solely doing this because it's on my timeline. I really did spend a lot of time like following the Johnny Depp trial and the case and all of that. I'm not the best when it comes to like legalese and everything like that, but I know what like makes common sense i know what i feel you know what i you know and i can get the gist um and so yesterday i was at work and i saw laura b just you know happens to come across my timeline and it says Jax, it's not a conflict he wasn't a party so from there i was intrigued to see what she was really responding to and it was up here Jax saying brown rutnick represented elon musk full stop creating a severe conflict of interest in representing johnny because as we know elon was up in that apartment um visiting a certain somebody johnny's apartment um and he we have known that they have been together. We'll just leave it at that. So apparently Jax is saying 70,000 pages of documents do not just accidentally get leaked to your mortal enemy by lawyers working for you. Where is the Elon elevator footage? There are four screenshots of the footage that existed. Where is it? So Jax is questioning Brown and Rutnick. So Brown and Rutnick, that's going to be Ben. That's going to be Camille. That's going to be Jessica. That's going to be everybody we saw fighting for Johnny. So while this is like the Johnny Depp supporters, now we have this questioning of the team that successfully got Johnny's life back. So it's creating all types of discord online. Um, we have people commenting on it, giving their thoughts and feelings, asking more questions um, about missing footage, um, which is really interesting. I was going through some comments and somebody was saying about the footage of um, Whitney and Amber and all of them, they were on the elevator and that fake like punch um apparently people are saying they could sworn that they have seen this video but now it can't be found and i was sitting there thinking about it i was like i feel like i have i could have sworn like in the early 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 days of this i could have sworn i saw that video footage i definitely saw the video footage of her on the elevator with her friends and she's like picking the food off and like throwing it on the floor acting all weird and spazzed out and shit um but that video of like the fake punch and they're joking around and shit, I, I don't know why in my mind I can vaguely remember that. But then some people are saying that's never been a thing. It's never been released. Is that da, 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 da. And then this footage of Elon Musk on the elevator. Where is that footage? Um, and again, why do I feel like I've seen that as well in like the early stages of this that, and the other? Um, but apparently there's no footage. There's just pictures and screenshots so people are asking questions even a year removed from all of this um so then that's what laura b was responding to saying Jax is not a conflict he wasn't a party 
So because Elam wasn't a party to the case, it's not a conflict of Brown and Rutnick representing Elon in another case. And then of course I was like, well, what did they represent him for? And it's something, it says, I found an article that says, Elon Musk hires Stephen Best at Brown Rutnick to defend him in an SEC fraud lawsuit. Also hires former assistant US attorney, Chris Clark of Latham and Watkins in case. So this is something completely removed for from Johnny Amber, the son and the other. Um, but I guess people would say it is a conflict conflict solely because a elon is johnny's sworn enemy like he was up in his house like banging his fuck like disrespectful fucking shit um and about this seventy thousand pages of documents that were accidentally leaked to the opposing team what these seventy thousand k documents are we have no clue um but people are making bold statements um and i i it sucks to see people kind of turning on the team that kind of brought johnny this massive success and brought him his life back um i'm still utterly confused um i'm trying it's like jacks is saying she knows something or has information that's like gonna shut shit down and um it's always good to question, of course. Um, but at the end of the day, I guess Brown and Rucknick, they're a reputable law firm. They do well at what they do. Like when you're going through something, you want to hire the best of the best. And I guess Elon wanted to hire the best of the best. And he hired Brown and Rucknick in conjunction with whatever this other something in Watkins. Um, I don't know. So like, how do you guys feel about this? Like, do you feel like it's a conflict? Do you see what it is that Jax is trying to say? So then let me read down. Okay, so then Jax responded to Laura B saying, stop. Excuse me. You don't understand what has happened and is happening. You are shouting down people who are qu who are asking valid questions and making sense. God damn. That's like a strong coming at Laura. So then Laura says, I'm giving the public facts. Anything else is privileged. And then Jack says, just because facts are just, just because facts are just now becoming public doesn't mean that they're privileged. The truth will out. What is the truth? Is it that Brown and Rucknick is somehow doing some shit behind the scenes that like was not beneficial to Johnny, although he won? Like, what is it? So then somebody said one question to understand if there's a conflict of interest. When did BR represent Elon Musk? Sorry, I have no idea when he was associated with Elon Musk. And then Jack said from at least 2018. Then that same person said, I do not think there could be a conflict of interest. Their billion dollar client was involved in their big celebrity case, JD, and never pressed the topic of AH, love affair with EM during the days where AH alleged JD abused her. Of course, I could be wrong, but I trust Adam if he suggests it. And then Laura says, and they still won. Um, so there's just a lot. And then the DUI guy said, since Elon was not a party to the JD versus AH defamation case, the question that must be asked is, what duty did BR have towards Elon when they undertook representing Johnny Depp? We find the answers in the rules of ethics. And then he gives like ABA rule one point. So, oh gosh, it's just all types of mess, you guys. Inner fighting within the supporters, like just a mess. And it started with, I wonder if she deleted it. Cause it started with one chick's tweet and then Jack's commented to that and then Laura commented to that so it kind of went and I was trying to find that tweet but I wonder if she deleted it because it came into a fucking shit show underneath her fucking thread um yeah so there's beef going on you guys I don't know if Brown and Rucknick have acted unethically or not I just feel like 
they literally saved Johnny's life and gave him his life back. Um, and I really feel like they deserve the respect. Camille, Ben, Jessica, the whole team, okay? All them. And um, I just think it's sad to see the supporters being divided in a weird way. It's like, is somebody infiltrating? Like, what's going on? 